Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? This is really dark. It's not even, is it even focusing in? Is there anywhere for me to turn on a light? There's nowhere for me to turn a light on out of here. Okay, <laughs> I know this is horrible, but I have to uh, vlog on the balcony tonight. So I hope that you guys can hear me a little bit. I will try to speak up and speak <laughs> clearly. If you can hear the, you can hear the waves in the background and the wind and stuff. So we're up pretty high. And um, do you guys want to see what it looks like outside tonight? Oh my god. It is like the focusing is horrible. This is what it looks like tonight. See all the waves on the beach over there. And the waves on the beach over there. So out of focus. Focus in. Oh well. Well, this is my outfit that I wore tonight. We just got back from dinner. And it is like, I don't know what time it is. But we just got back from dinner a little bit ago. Come on, focus. <laughs> And I just got off the phone talking to Tanya Jean. I talked to her earlier today. And um, she was telling me that the dogs were really good. And Boo and Tucker were running around in the yard all day and stuff like that. So I'm not going to vlog for a really long time tonight. Because I actually, and I know last night's vlog, I literally, I got home. Well, I got back to the room and I was like, oh my god, I forgot to post the vlog from last night. So um, I just put it up. And... Um, after dinner, we like um, walked around downstairs and stuff like that. And we stopped at this little mart on the way back so we could get some like chips and stuff for the room. But anyway, um, we, uh, what did we do today? Well, I got up and Alex went downstairs and got, oh, I vlogged earlier today when I got up. So after I vlogged, um, I went down to the beach and met up with Alex. The beach really wasn't that busy today, it was really nice. And I got in the water a bunch. The waves were like super, super high today and it was really fun. But um, the tide was like pulling us like both ways. I had a lot of fun today being out in the ocean. Kind of reminded me of being a kid. The water is like super cold though. It's like, it reminds me of Lake Michigan in the summers. It's like, when you get in it at first, it's like, like icy cold. There it goes out of focus again. Come on. Why can't I just focus? If it does this to me, I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow. And I really don't want to vlog tomorrow because come on. There. Um because tomorrow is the day that we're like, you know, going and doing all of our house hunting stuff tomorrow and looking at different areas so anyway you guys i'm sorry it's just going to go in and out this is going to be like the world's worst vlog today um but anyway so we went to the beach we just kind of hung out there i actually listened to like almost half of my book today on the beach i'm listening to um black coral by andrew main which is the sequel uh, uh to the girl beneath the sea it's really really good if you like the first one you'll love the second one it's almost completely different like mystery but um very, very similar, so I'll probably finish that tomorrow. And then, um, well, no, because we're not, we're gonna go to the beach tomorrow, like, um, maybe just for like, we're supposed to be back here, we should be back here by like, well, it'll probably be maybe too late to go to the beach, but we're supposed to be back here by like, mid-afternoon, and we're gonna go in the morning. Um, we thought we were going in the afternoon, but we're gonna be going in the, more in the morning, like at 10 or 11, so, um, when we get back here, because we're not going to be gone all day, you know, um, we might go to the, the beach for a couple hours, we'll just, it'll just see, if we do, then I'm going to listen to the book tomorrow, <laughs> it's so out of focus, come on, I'm going to stop it really quick and see if I can start it up again and it'll be better, okay, I think it's still going to be bad, but oh well, we'll, we'll hope, anyway, um, so, 
I don't know if we'll get to go to the beach tomorrow or not. We'll just have to see. Um, and then if we do, then I'm going to listen to more of uh, my audiobooks. I'd like to finish that so I can start Dexter. But anyway, we went to the beach. We came back up. We tried to make reservations for somewhere today. We couldn't make reservations for any place for dinner. We couldn't really find any place. Um, so we were going to walk over to Lincoln Road. And we came back. And I was like, I have got to lay down for a little bit. I was like so tired from like the sun and the beach and being in the ocean. So I lay down for like an hour and Alex started getting ready and then I got ready real quick and then we left and we started looking for a place to eat at like seven o'clock. We finally, I don't know when we got, but anyway, we had to wait forever you guys in this restaurant. There was like a, cause there's like only like one restaurant like every four blocks where we're at, four or five, six blocks maybe, maybe even further, farther than that. It was, what is this restaurant called? Miami Tavern, I think, or something. The food was really, really good. But anyway, we put our name in and the line was long. We were talking to all the people that were waiting and it was, you know, it was kind of fun. But anyway, so we finally got seated and um, we were sitting, seated next to these three moms and I guess one mom had two daughters and then her best friend, her the mom's best friend was with them. And then her sister was there with her daughter. And so we were like talking to them and they were super, super nice. And um, so it was like taking so long for like the food to come and stuff that when our food finally came, their like whole table, they like all started clapping and stuff. And then it like started this whole thing. It was kind of funny, but anyway. And the servers were so nice. They were so fantastic. I was talking to the server at the end and she was so fantastic. And I was like, you are working your butt off and we really appreciate it. And she was like, oh, thank you so much. She was like, everybody's been really upset tonight but you guys have been so nice. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet, thank you. I said, no, what time do you get to leave? And she's like, I probably won't get out of here till two or three o'clock in the morning. And I was like, seriously? She was like, yeah. She was like, because we're like, when I'm like over on this side, because South Beach is where everything is closed, but where we're at, things are still open later. So she's like, since we're still open later, you know, like people are coming here to eat, but there's not really like that many restaurants over here. Um, so, yeah. So we picked one of the busiest restaurants to go eat at tonight. But, and now Alex is laying inside and he is downloading music and listening to songs and he is getting ready to go to bed. And when I get done vlogging, I am going to, um, I am going to uh, get my iPad and sit out here and watch like two episodes. I can't believe it, you guys. I'm so sorry. Watch two episodes. I'm almost like, should I, oh, I thought my, where's my phone? My phone must be inside. I was going to get my phone and put like a light on, but it would shine up like something very scary, you know? Um, but I'm going to watch two episodes of The Undoing with Nicole Kidman. So I'm excited about that. I really want to watch that. I am sure the sound quality and I know that the light quality of this is like the worst ever. The lights are on inside. Not, I mean, not like super bright, but... We have like a little kitchenette with like a stove and a microwave and a refrigerator and stuff. So then on the way back, we stopped and we got um, little snacks for the room and I got these like chocolate wafer cookies. <laughs> I better have them with a cup of coffee. Here's my um, little cup of coffee that I drank in the morning. And then that was from earlier today. And um, I'm gonna have a little cup of coffee and um, some chocolate wafers here in a second. I'm drinking a Diet Pepsi right now. But the last two nights, I've gone to bed at like between 9 and 9.30, and I'm like, I wanna stay up and watch a little bit of a show. I haven't watched any of a show, you know? When I'm at home, I was telling Tanya that today, it's like, you know, when I'm at home, I get up and I'm just like, errands, videos, errands, videos, running, 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 that I never allow myself to just sit and be present. And it has been so nice the last two days. Like today especially, just listening to the audiobook on the beach. I had a grilled cheese sandwich with fries on the beach. Alex had, well, yesterday he had chicken fingers and fries. Today he had a salad and then he got, he had a Caesar salad and then he got fries on the side. And um, we got like a big bucket of like diet, I got diet Pepsi and he got like regular Pepsi today. And it was so nice. 
just to relax and just be present. I have such a hard time doing that, you know? And uh, even just to leave to go out of town, like I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I'm so like list and you know oriented and always like trying to be organized and making plans for everything that it's like so hard. I'm just having to like, right now I am practicing letting go because the focusing on this camera is driving me crazy. Um, there. But anyway, um, it's been really, really nice for me just to sit and like be present. Like usually I know I'll, I'll drive around and listen to my audiobook during the day, but really that's kind of like my way to unwind and relax at the end of the day. Like when I finish my vlog and everything, it's like, okay, like those are the last two things of the day that I do every day that I love to do. It's like, I love to sit down, you know, and just like drive around in my car and talk to you guys and it just is so like calming and therapeutic for me and then after that to like that's why sometimes even if it's super late I'll like listen to my audiobook for like just even a half an hour because for me it's so relaxing to be able to listen to my audiobook you know and just laying on the beach today I was laying on my stomach and um because I'm totally burned on my front. So I was like, well, we might as well try to get some sun on the back of these pale legs today, you know? And so I was laying there and I was just like, listening to this audiobook, and I just was so into it. And I had this, I like looked out at the ocean and the ocean was so pretty. And I was like, I am so grateful. Like, I just feel so blessed. This woman tonight, she had a teacher on and said, blessed, thankful, and grateful. And I stopped her when she was walking out of the restaurant. I said, I love your t-shirt so much. But you know, I just, I, I had this moment today where, I mean, I feel so full of gratitude so often anyway, but tonight or today laying on the beach, it just was like, I am just, I have such an amazing life and such an amazing husband and family and friends. And I just love my life, you know? And, and it was nice to just sit and be still, you know, and, and have nowhere to go and nothing to do. Cause I don't, do very well. I'm sure you have probably figured that out by now, but like, I don't do very well with like not having anything or anywhere to go. Like, I do very, very well when I'm like busy and having to keep going and stuff. Come on. I got this tonight for, well, tonight for dinner we had Brand new shirt I got down here for a little date night with my husband. It's pink, you can't really see it. But, oh, Alex just turned off the lights. It's gonna make it even worse. Oh my God, the vlog, the worst vlog ever. This may be shorter than I even thought it was gonna be. But anyway, um, tonight at dinner we had well, Alex went into the bar while we were waiting, and he... I wonder if I sit over here, if it'll be better. I'm just afraid you guys won't be able to hear me. Alex had a glass of wine, and I had a Diet Coke. And then, um... We ordered appetizers. We got a hummus plate, and it came with pita bread, um, black olives, carrots, celery. It was so good. And then I also got that, I don't know how to pronounce it, I think she said elote, and it's that like, it's street corn. Come on, baby, come on, focus. You can do it. I can't turn it off again, I can't do that. But anyway, um, but I, whenever it usually, I get it, I usually get it off the cob, and tonight it was like on the cob, and Alex was like, well that's how they usually make it. So I ate it. But I don't like to eat corn on the cob because it always gets stuck in my teeth. <laughs> I know it's silly, but it does. And so, but it was so good. Oh my God, it was so good, you guys. And so I was real excited about that. And then Alex got like this rigatoni pasta, um, but it was like beef rigatoni or something. And I got angel hair pasta with all, uh, extra olive oil. And it had like little strawberries and strawberries what am I talking about Peter little tomatoes diced up and stuff and it was really really good but I dripped olive oil on my shirt like right here and I'm so mad so when I take this off I'm gonna go put some water on it some cold water to get that out which I should have done already but oh well 
I told Alex, I said this will be my beach shirt for the next couple of days since I can't wear it again with these big oil stains on it. It was fun. It was nice. I love just hanging out with, having all day to spend with my husband. I miss it so much, you know, that at home, like, we're both so busy and we're doing stuff that when we're out of town, it's, like, so nice just to, like, sit, you know, and talk and laugh and tell stories and stuff. And it's funny, even being together, you know. It was funny because he said the other day, somebody, who was asking us, I think it was somebody on our way down here, I can't remember who it was. Somebody said, how long have you guys been together? And Alex said, almost 13 years. And I was like, no, that's wrong. And I was like, oh my God, that's so funny. Because we have, we've been together for um, 12 years and seven months. God, that's crazy. We've been together 12 years and seven months. But it's funny when you've been together that long and you still learn new things about each other, you know, new stories you haven't heard anymore. I just went inside and I told him, I said, I was telling him what Tanya and I had talked about. I was like, oh, I talked to Tanya and this is what she said. Come on, focus. And so I looked at him. He was laying in the bed, like he was all tucked in, you know, and he was like listening to his music. And I go, do I look like an angel? And he goes, no, you look more like a devil. And I go, look again. Do I look like an angel? And he goes, no. I was like laying on the bed. It was so funny. And I go, look this way. I said, do I look like an angel now? He started laughing and he goes, no. He goes, you look like an idiot. And I go, come on now. I said, I know it's out of focus, but it doesn't matter. You get the idea. I said, do I look like an angel? Come on, you stupid camera. Don't do this to me tonight. I'm trying so hard. I am trying so hard. I go, do I look like an angel? And he goes, no, you look like a devil, especially with your face so red. And I go, do I look like an angel now? He goes, no. And I go, how about this? And he goes, no, you still look like a devil. And I go, <laughs> the glamour shots, you know. I said, come on, camera. I'm trying to do I'm trying to do pictures here. I said, do I look like an angel now? <laughs> I went like this. And he goes, now you look like an angel. <laughs> You're such an ass. <laughs> but anyway, we're just having so much fun down here. I'm so nice. It's hard though because like when I'm sitting on the beach. If I'm not like listening to an audiobook or music, like I start hearing everybody's conversations around me. And there were these like kids behind me, and I think they were college kids. It's like these two girls and these two guys came up. And they were like, they were like, um, well, the guys were like, well, what time did you guys get down here? And she, it was like they didn't get down there until like three o'clock. She was like, oh my God, we just got down here. I just got up. And she was like, and this is so different than me back in the day. Like back in the day with me and my friends. I mean, you know, we would get our money together and go buy a case of beer, you know, or dark eyes vodka or something cheap, you know. And she was like, um, she was like, yeah. She was like, she and I went to the steakhouse here last night. And he, they were like, oh really? And she was like, yeah, and she was like, I mean, this girl had to have been 20, maybe 21 max. And she was like, yeah, she was like, I told Alex, I said, I don't know why that's annoying me, but it's bugging me. <laughs> and um, she was like, um, yeah, I had like the best filet. It was like $48. And then I had a salad and it was like, um, something and then she was like we were with so-and-so and some some other guy and she was like and uh, we ordered this like $300 bottle of wine I'm like who are these college kids ordering this kind of food like they're 60 years old on their wedding anniversary you know and um, she's like and she goes the server didn't bring it quick enough so we just said we'll take it to go and so-and-so just threw his credit card at her and I thought oh okay don't get me started on young people, okay, spending money like that and they're entitled to and treating servers disrespectfully. I was like, I can't at all. 
I'll tell you what, these um, kids that work out here on the beach, I mean, they're not kids, they're probably 25, something like that, that work out here on the beach, like serving the food and the drinks and like setting up the chairs and whatever, like they hustle, like they hustle their butts. Oh, there were these four women that four women that were in front of us. Alex and I were like, I turned to him and I said, these women are hilarious. He's like, I am in love with them. I love. Them. I go, I am too. They're so great. So there's these cabanas. I'm like looking at them right now, and you can rent them, and they're cheaper depending on what day. So like on the weekends, they can go up to as much as like six or seven hundred dollars. On the beach, they're just like these little couch things. But during the week, like I asked the guy today, I was like, well, how much are they? And he was like, they're 312. And I was like, oh, we're totally fine just with two chairs. <laughs> we don't need those. But there were these four women and they were like me and Tanya's age, you know? And they were sitting on these chairs and they kept on ordering like buckets of Trulies or whatever. They look like White Claws or Trulies or something, you know? And they were so drunk. And this one woman, she, and they were from like, they had Southern accents and they were so funny. And they were like, they're like, this is gonna be the most expensive bill in the entire world. They were so nice, the server. And they're like, so when the, there's like this one pool that's like a private pool and there's like a DJ there and stuff and that's like where all the college kids have been hanging out that are down here. Although there really aren't that many college kids at this resort, I don't know. So, I mean, there's a group of them, but it's not like massive. But like right before we were getting ready to come up, like 20 of them came down and they like just like all went to this one area of the beach. But that, it was like kind of far down from us. So anyway, uh, I mean, they're, like all the people that are on the, that were on the beach were like, you know, mostly like Alex's age, like mid, mid to upper, upper 30. So there's a lot of like families here with kids and stuff like that. But anyway, um, these women were so hilarious. And they were so nice, this woman. And, but they were so drunk by the end. And the woman came and they closed out their tab. And, she was like, um, this one woman was like, did I tip you enough? And she was like, yeah, it was, it's great, it's fine. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. She's like, no, I got my ATM card. She's like, if you want me to go, I'll go get cash. I can, you know, I can pay you in cash if cash would be better. And the girl was so nice. And she was like, no, it's okay. And the friends were like, no, you need to tip her more, tip her more. She's been doing good all day long. And so it was so funny, but they were really nice. And they were like singing songs and like, it was hilarious. been a good trip. I don't know which one of my snacks I'm gonna have tonight before I come to bed. Should I have chips or should I have a cookie with some coffee? I think I might wanna have a cup of coffee while I sit and watch my show. So since this is like considered an Airbnb, they don't come up and clean the room while we're here and stuff. And you can pay them to come up and like, you can pay like the hotel, like, um, extra money so they'll come and clean every day and stuff but we didn't do that we're like I mean because all they do is like you know make the bed and whatever but like they will bring like extra towels and like if you need like toiletries and stuff like that they'll bring that up here so I have now for the last two days used the same coffee cup here well maybe this will get me to focus no it's not working I've used the same coffee cup like the last two days and I'm like I need to call down there and ask them to bring me some more coffee cups. <laughs> like it's whatever it does well. I remember when I was a little kid and I would go out of town, like I way overpack, you know? I always bring so much stuff and then I never end up wearing any of it. And I told Tony that before we came down here. And I was like, I'm gonna wear like my stuff when I'm down there. Like, so every night for dinner, I'm gonna wear a different outfit. Every day to the beach, I'm gonna wear a different t-shirt. Like, I mean, if I take this stuff, I'm gonna wear it this time, right? So I was thinking about this earlier, like with my dad. Like, I can remember when my dad and I would go out of town for like a week. Then my dad would always, like on the plane, <clears throat> he would wear, my dad would wear um, jeans or khakis. And then he would wear penny loafers with no socks. And then he would wear like a button down collared white shirt and a blue navy blazer. He would always wear that on the plane. And so then whenever we got on a trip, like he, all he would carry is a backpack and then like a little duffel bag, like this big, not a big duffel bag, like just a little duffel bag that he would carry with him. 
like a little nylon duffel bag. I mean, this was for years. I mean, like, he would do this. And he would literally have, like, one bathing suit that he would wear the whole week. And then he would wear, like, he would bring, like, two or three t-shirts. Um, and then he would bring, like, you know, another, like, button-down or two button-down collared shirts. You know, his um, cosmetics bag. And, you know, with his, like, stuff in it. His travel size stuff. And that would be in, like, a pair of, like, you know, khaki, like, shorts, like, boating shorts, and that would, and boat shoes, and that would be it. He would have, like, boat shoes and, like, penny loafers, and that's when it, so, like, to go out to dinner, if we went out to dinner somewhere, he'd always wear, like, some kind of, like, combination of that. Maybe he wore, like, two or three button downs, I don't know, but, like, he didn't bring that many clothes with him. My dad traveled like that for years and years and years and years. Never took that much stuff, never needed, you know? I don't know why I always overpack. I like to have options. I know it's stupid though, isn't it? This week I've been like laying out like two or three outfits for dinner each night and then like, I've been like, Alex, which one do you like the best? And then whichever one he picks I've been wearing. I like to look nice for my husband. I think it's, do you guys like to get dressed up for your husbands or wives, partners? I like to get dressed up for myself too though. You know like, at home I'm just so quick to like throw on a hat and a hoodie that you know when I'm out of town it's nice to kind of like take some time and you know, do my hair and make myself, although I have to tell you what's so funny is I usually blow dry my hair and I have been just air drying it and um, been putting this stuff, I got this stuff at Target, I'll have to show it on a video maybe on like my review channel or something, but I got this little mat, it's like this mat, uh, it's in the Target section, it's like in a black container in the men's section, and it's this little, like about that round and probably that thick, of this like uh, matte paste, and I've been using it on this trip and it's so nice, I really, really like it, and it's cheap, it was like three or four bucks, and um, I really like the smell of it too, and I like what it does to my hair, but I've been, Letting my hair just kind of air dry. You know, when there's like salt water out here though in the humidity, it's like it dries a little bit different. And then I just been putting that in on it. I did trim my beard tonight though. My beard grows so fast too when I'm in like warmer weather. Well, all right, you guys, I think I'm gonna get off here now because <laughs> the quality of this video is the worst vlog ever. <laughs> horrible, horrible quality. I'll try to do something better tomorrow night. I don't know, maybe put a backlight on or something like that so it's a little bit better. And um, anyway, I love you guys so much. And I know these vlogs are shorter, so thank you for bearing with me. But I, um, I have so much fun just, you know, keeping you guys updated. And it's fun for me to look back on too. So anyway, um, and thank you for all the kind comments you guys have left the last two nights. I really, really appreciate it. And um, I love you so much. And I hope you're having a, I hope you're having an amazing week this week. Nobody else has told you this, I love you. If nobody else has told you this, I love you. Um, most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know how much they mean to you. Um, like it says in the four agreements, always leave with love. Um, also, like I always say, practice random acts of kindness, but also like I always say, don't tell anyone. Just do it because it's the nice thing to do. It's the right thing to do. And let's put out some um, love, kindness, compassion, tolerance, understand, understanding, tolerance, goodness. Did I say love already? Goodness, amazement, grace, wonder, and awe, and hope. Most importantly, hope, hope and love, I think out into the world and I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, and by the way, have, <laughs> if nobody told you this as well, have an amazing, what is tomorrow, Tuesday, Tuesday, and I love you guys. And an amazing Wednesday because you probably won't hear from me again until Wednesday, so I love you. <laughs> Bye. Love ya. And since that was so short, live from Miami, one more I love you. I love you guys. Bye. Love ya.